Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I hope everyone is having a happy crochet or knitting day. Well, I was in my local Barnes & Noble's bookstore the other day and I always like to check out the crochet magazines. Well, it's only a couple weeks till the holidays and I found this magazine called Christmas Crochet. Deck the halls with homemade joy this winter. There's 44 patterns inside. Now this magazine is printed in the UK. So it says issue number two and this magazine is $21.99 in the United States and $26.99 in Canada. So magazines are getting extremely expensive, but I wanted to buy it because when magazines are getting this expensive, you really want to see what is inside to see if these magazines are really worth the money. So 44 patterns, you divide that into $22 or $27 and then you have to figure out if it's worth the money. Is there enough patterns in this magazine that you would spend that kind of money or would you look online for a similar free pattern? So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what patterns they have to offer. So when you open up the magazine, you are going to see the table of contents with sneak peek patterns, and then it's going to say the name of the pattern and the page number that you can find the pattern on. So I can already see some adorable Christmas patterns. They're going to have the stitch guide to show you photographs of the different stitches, how to hold your yarn and the stitches you will be using. It also has the UK and the USA crochet term conversion chart. Now this is a UK magazine so you'll have to use the US crochet abbreviations. So quite a large section of the different stitches that you'll be using. It has the yarn weights and measure, the hook size conversion table, more information about your guide to crocheting, the crochet glossary, and more of what the crochet terms mean that you're going to be seeing in the instructions. And then we get started with our patterns. So the first pattern you're going to see here is called the Christmas Dishcloth. Add a bit of North Pole magic to your washing up. Now the measurements of this dishcloth is 8.5 by 8.5 inches or 21.5 by 21.5 centimeters. So just a cute addition for your holiday kitchen decor. So the next pattern is called Christmas Pudding Tea Cozy. When it comes to this cute tea cozy, the proof is in the pudding. Outside measurements are 12 inches wide by 9 inches high or 30.5 centimeters wide by 23 centimeters high. And what I also like is they give you detailed photos of how you put it together. And then here's another photo where they show you how to join that together. Sorry about the glare from my lights. Look at this next pattern. Isn't this adorable? Everyone loves a Christmas gnome. Now, I don't see a finished measurement for the gnome, but it does say that the fur right here that you use, the faux fur, is 4 inches across by 10 inches long. So I'm going to say this is probably about 12 to 13 inches tall, and I'm not sure the diameter. So just based on the material list, that's what I'm going to say the measurement is. But just an adorable little Christmas gnome. The next pattern is also a very cute pattern for the holidays. This is called the Reindeer Kitchen Towel. Get Rudolph to help with the washing up this Christmas. Now the finished size of this kitchen towel is one size is 23 centimeters or 9 inches wide by 43 centimeters or 17 inches long, not including the head. Isn't that adorable? And I like the way that you just put the towel right through, create a loop to hang on your stove. Then we have the tiny baby snowman. Turn your home into a winter wonderland. Such a cute little snowman. It has three pieces where you have the main part of the snowman, the little hat, and the scarf. So I'm not seeing them list the finished size in the instructions. So that's very unusual that they're not giving those finished measurements. 
So sorry, I can't provide that to you. You're going to have to use your own judgment. Now, looking at the photo, I'm going to pretend here's my two fingers, but I'm not sure how enlarged this is. So I'm going to say this is really tiny, but it is a cute holiday pattern. So I wish they would put those finished measurements in here and sorry that they're not listed. So the next pattern is the Holly Jolly Heirloom Stocking, the perfect accessory for any fireplace this festive season. Now, looking at these instructions, they go right into the pattern. They show the special stitches that you're gonna to use to make it. They give you the material list, but there's nothing in the instructions with the finished size. So I'm not sure why they would ever put instructions in without the finished measurement on some of these patterns. It's a very beautiful pattern and I could see doing this pattern stitch as an afghan as well. Just start down here, make your chain as wide as you want, follow the instructions to get this design and then just make it wider and make an afghan. Wouldn't that be pretty to have a matching afghan for the stockings? The next pattern I'm going to say is the Gunhild the Gnome Girl. Celebrate in Scandi style with this adorable gnome. Now again, the instructions do not list any of the finished sizes. So based on what this looks like, I'm going to say it's very, very small, probably just a couple inches high. The next pattern I thought was really pretty. This is called the Christmas Tree Pillow. Perfect for the sofa or as a gift for a friend. Now, if anybody is from the United States, if you have ever heard of Woolrich Woolen Mills, they were famous for the red and black plaid. And this just gives me a wonderful hometown feeling because Woolridge Woolen Mills was just a couple miles from my home with those beautiful red and black buffalo plaid. Just a beautiful country way to decorate for the holidays. Now looking at the instructions, I'm going to show you the material list. Nowhere on the instructions does it show the size, but you can see it says what you need. It says pillow insert or fiber fill. Well, to pay this much money for a magazine and they're not giving you the finished sizes and they can't even tell you what size pillow insert you need is really upsetting because you have to wait until you get the pillow made to figure out what pillow form you need. Very expensive magazine to not include finished sizes and important information in the material list. And I'm not picking on the magazine. I think the patterns are very wonderful. But when you put a magazine together like this, it really should have all the pertinent information about the designs. Let's see what else they have to offer. The next pattern is the Chubby Santa and Elf. This Chubby Santa and his Elf Helper are simple to make as cute decorations for Christmas. Now this pattern does have the finished measurement. They are 9 centimeters or 3.5 inches tall. The next pattern is the Christmas Stocking. Create your own Christmas stocking to hang up with the simple and striking bobble tree design. Now this pattern does list the finished measurements. It says approximately 29 centimeters from top edge to bottom of heel and approximately 12.5 centimeters across the upper leg. It's approximately 20 centimeters from heel to toe and approximately 11.5 centimeters across the foot. Very helpful when they put the finished measurements in the instructions. The next pattern is the snowflake wreath. If you like decorating with white and have that classic Christmas look, this says bring the snow indoors with this easy Christmas wreath. Now this finished measurement is a diameter wreath of 30 centimeters or 12 inches. I love the wreath, but I'm not liking the bow. I think it could have had a really beautiful Christmas bow. And sometimes when you go to the craft stores, you can find those pre-made bows that would look so much better than this one. You could put a really beautiful Christmas bow on this and really custom design it to suit your own home decor. The next pattern is called Stocking Bunting. Create this cute mini stocking bunny and fill with sweets or handwritten notes. Now it does have the finished measurement for each stocking. 
is approximately 10 centimeters or 4 inches long, excluding the hanging loop. And then you can just make it as long as you want. And this looks like they just use clothespins to attach them. It looks like some type of red ribbon, so you can make it as long or as short as you wish. The next pattern is called the White Christmas Silver Mistletoe on a Snow White Cushion, the height of Christmas chick. Now the measurement of this pillow is approximately 35 by 35 centimeters or 14 by 14 inches. The next pattern is called Bold Over. Crochet an elegant centerpiece for your Christmas table. Now the measurements for this crocheted bowl are approximately 20 centimeters or 8 inches in diameter and 9 centimeters or 3 inches deep. And it looks like they have a string of lights inside to really light up the inside. So that's a cute idea. The next pattern is the Christmas stars. Jazz up your Christmas wrappings with these quick and easy stars or you can join them into a long strip to hang. The finished measurements are approximately 7.5 centimeters across. The next pattern is the simple wreath. The simple wreath is a fast and easy way to add a bit of cheer to your Christmas decor. Now the finished measurements are 17.75 centimeters or 8 inches in circumference. The next pattern is six Christmas babbles. Create your own tree decorations for this festive season. Now it's not giving me a finished measurement, but it is giving me the measurement for the plastic bobble ball, Christmas ball underneath. It says a hard plastic bobble, approximately 7.5 to 9 centimeters or 3 to 3.5 three inches in diameter for each ornament. So that's about the size. It's going to be anywhere from 3 to 3.5 three inches. The next pattern is the fur Dan, the fir tree. Make this cute decoration to hang from your tree. So you can see he has a little smile on his face right here. And I am seeing no finished measurement for this pattern. So this magazine is just a little bit frustrating that some patterns have the finished measurements and some do not. Why would they do that for a magazine? Why would they not have the finished measurements for each pattern listed in the instructions? So the next design is the Nordic Dove Christmas Ornament. Add some Scandi style to your tree this year. And again, I'm looking at the instructions and I'm not seeing any finished measurement. Using your own judgment, it is a Christmas ornament, so it's probably only a couple inches wide by probably about an inch high, maybe an inch and a half. Just a guesstimate here. Now the next pattern is called the Sweet Christmas Buddies. Spend a fun afternoon making these unique ornaments to decorate your home, to give them as gifts or make somebody happy. Now these are really tiny, so much detail for a tiny little ornament. Absolutely love the teddy bears. Now it does give me the finished measurements for this. It says the measurements for the ginger bear, boy and girl, are 14 by 10 centimeters. The hot chocolate with marshmallows is 9 by 7.5 centimeters. The Christmas pudding is 9 by 5 centimeters. And the candy cane is 11.5 by 6 centimeters. These are really adorable. These teddy bears are so precious if you want to do a teddy bear tree. The next pattern is called the Christmas Angel. Create an elegant winged angel with a bell-shaped dress as the perfect Christmas decor or gift. So I'm not seeing any finished measurement at all for this pattern. And then here's another photo of that angel. So I'm just going to base it. This is a mini tree. I'm going to say in my estimate, that's probably going to be five or six inches tall. And I'm not sure, maybe like three inches across. The wings might be a little wider, but just the doll itself, two to three inches by maybe six inches tall. I can't really tell. I really wish the measurements were in this magazine. The next set of patterns is for the presents on the tree. These tree decorations are quick to make using just one stitch. So again, looking at the instructions, there's no finished measurements. 
The next set of patterns is called White as Snow. Add some handmade flair to your Christmas tree. So there is a snowflake, and then here's a snowflake, and then there's a heart. So there's three different ornaments. And again, no finish measurements on the instructions. So the next pattern is called the Christmas Mouse, a squeaking good gift for your loved ones. Now again, looking at the instructions, there is no finished measurement. So I'm gonna say it's probably just a couple inches tall. It's not very large. The next pattern is called the Winter Warmer Scarf. Stay cozy with this beautiful accessory. Now it does give the finished measurement for this scarf. It measures 200 by 22 centimeters or eight and three fourths inches by 78 and three fourths inches. Just beautiful rainbow colors. Are you looking for a spa set to maybe give as a gift with some handmade soap this holiday season? This is a nice pattern. It includes three pieces. It's called the Tea Rose Spa Set with a face scrubby, a bath poof, soap saver pouch, and washcloth. This set makes the perfect gift for a friend. So there's four pieces here. This is the soap pouch. This is the bath poof. This is the washcloth, and then over here you're going to see the face scrubby. And again, sorry to say, there is no finished measurements for any of these projects. So the next pattern is called South of the Border Blanket. A warm and cozy blanket is often the best gift to receive. Now, looking at the instructions, again, I am seeing no finished measurement and I'm not even seeing a stitch gauge in order to try to figure out how big it would be based on the starting chain. So very unusual that a magazine would not put the measurements for the design in the magazine. So that is one downside of this magazine for me. When I look at a pattern, I wanna have an idea of how big this is. Is this a lap blanket? Is it a full-size blanket? Now it is a chain of 125 and you're using a very small crochet hook of a size G7. So not really sure what that would be unless I did the first chain and measured it. So again, that is one of the downsides to this magazine. I've never seen a magazine that didn't at least give you the finished measurements and to have some for one pattern and not the other is very, very unusual. So the next pattern is called the Snappy Slippers. Cozy and warm and perfect for the whole family. These slippers will hug your feet. Now it does say in the pattern notes, the pattern is written in five different sizes with three different widths. So it says the measurements are to fit approximately foot lengths of 20, 23, 25, 28, and 30 centimeters, or eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 inches is written for the smallest size with changes for the other sizing in parentheses. The next pattern is called the Sherbert Stripes Blanket. Candy colored rainbows and lots of cozy texture. This blanket has it all. Now this is a beautiful blanket. These are my kind of colors. So of course this appealed to me with those beautiful softly rainbow colors. Now it does list the measurements. This is approximately 80 by 90 centimeters or 31 and a half by 35 and a half inches, including the border. So a very small blanket. The next pattern is called the Big and Little Tudor Fence. Make your own friendly little creatures to play with. So it has a big one on the bottom and a little one on top. Now it does list the measurements. The big one on the bottom is 13 centimeters or five inches. And the little one on top is 10 centimeters or four inches tall. The next pattern is the Hot Water Bottle Cozy Cover. Perfect for cozying up on a cool winter evening with a blanket and a good book. This pretty hot water bottle cover makes an ideal gift. Now, I'm not seeing the finished measurements, so it probably fits just over a standard size water bottle. 
And then the back of the magazine is going to show you several crochet stitch patterns, starting with the stitch pattern gallery. You're going to see the single crochet ribbing, the granite stitch, the chain mesh stitch, up and down stitch, fillet squares, the ripple stitch, the grit stitch, post stitch rib, the waffle stitch, basket weave, the diamond overlay, triangle spaces, tumbling blocks, mini pico mesh, offset arches, and then it just shows you some other magazines that they have available. So that is my review of the Christmas Crochet Magazine. Again, it's $21.99 in the U.S., $26.99 in Canada, and that is quite the chunk of change. But you have to use your own judgment. Was there enough patterns in this magazine that you would pay that price? Now, personally, I purchased the magazine so I could do a review of the designs in the magazine. But after going through the magazine along with you in this video, noticing that the measurements are not included for all the patterns. Why they're included for some and not the other one is completely beyond me. I'm not sure why they would ever do that because that is pertinent information. People want to know the finished measurements, especially if you're making a stocking or a blanket and you want it a certain size. Now the Christmas ornaments, they're pretty small, so you can use your own judgment on them. I also noticed that they didn't give the gauge. Now, a lot of people want to know the gauge. They want to know, am, am I on the right track of my pattern, especially if they're new. So personally, I would not purchase this magazine to actually buy it for the patterns. I only purchased it for the review. So please don't get upset with me because I think the magazine is extremely high priced and I know the cost of publishing magazines has really risen so I understand that it's just it's a lot of money for the patterns not having all the pertinent information and that's just my opinion and please remember these videos are just my opinion your opinion can be different than mine and that's okay that's what makes the world go around my videos are for information purposes to show you a sneak peek of what designs are in the magazine the cost of the magazine and some information regarding the patterns. The rest is up to you. You may feel this is the perfect magazine for you. And if you'd like to purchase this magazine, you can find it at your local Barnes and Nobles bookstore. So thank you everybody for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, this is a great opportunity to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.